What's up, chat, man? What's up, YouTube? This is the Nita Podcast, episode 89. Who's the best 89 ever in NFL history? I have one name goes to mind when I see 89. That's Steve Smith, Ice Up, son. I don't know who you guys pick as number 89 goes right to, or that's what my mind goes to. Uh, James Jones, the original hoodie wear. Who else, chat? Give me an 89. Give me another 89. I think James Jones and I think uh, Steve Smith. Is Steve Smith the best 89? Is he really the best 89? Y'all got to give me another one. I said James Jones, Steve Smith. It's got to be another one. Is 89 a Bobo number like that? Is, is Steve Smith really the only one? Damn, Chad, we're ass. Was Mar- wasn't Amari Cooper 89 for a little bit? I might be tripping with that. Maybe Amari Cooper was... Was, was Amari Cooper 89 when he was in uh, Oakland? See, look at me, Javi. I tell you, I don't be tripping. I really know my number. I know my NFL. Donald Driver was... I, I think Donald Driver was 88. No, it, Donald Driver was 80. Right? Yeah, Donald Driver was 80. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Who else we got? 89. Tight ends? 89? You guys are ass. At the end of the day, it looks like... Yeah, exactly. 89 is Steve, Steve Smith's number. I'll be honest. 89 is a Steve Smith number. I appreciate you guys. Man, today is the podcast. And these are my topics. We're going to talk about the yard. Uh, other than today, the last two days, talking about this 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 prize pool. The yard is the biggest news that happened this whole week. You know, that's the biggest. And we'll talk about that. Also talk about the ratings, which I know we all know they really don't matter. And if you think they matter, you're kind of in the disconnect from what Madden really means. Uh, and then we'll talk about the prize pool. And I will tell you, I worked yesterday. Um, not because I needed to work, but I needed to get out of the house. I don't know what you guys are doing in quarantine. Um, I don't know what the hell you guys got going on in life, but I needed to get out of the house. So I needed to work. So I got myself a little super part 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 time job, just cutting trees every one when I when pretty much whenever I want to, I can go do a day of work here and there. I needed that, so I went outside not only to be outside but to kind of be around people, like socialize while you work. I just that that ass needed to go, needed to go outside, man. But I got hella poison ivy because of it. I don't know, and I got actually got some on my eye right here. So that's kind of popping me a little bit. Uh, Ohio was, man, first tree. It cooked one tree one day. I was like, bro, this shit. Now I got poison ivy on my eyes and my hands and stuff like that. Um, but if I can't work one day and come home and do video games, then I don't deserve to be a human. So decided to go, why don't, might as well make some more money somewhere else. But uh, that's where I was yesterday, today. Played the game all day. Uh when I was outside, I didn't. I don't wear my mask while I was cutting trees. No, only when I go. I wear masks all the time, but not when I'm cutting trees. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's kind of Rob. But I'll tell you what, get paid the exercise. I wouldn't go as far as to say that, cause, I mean, I was kind of tired, really. For real, I was tired, hot in the, in the heat the whole day or in the sun. And I always tell people, man. People talk about, like, oh, the, the sun is the hottest at noon. Dude, the sun is the hottest at, like, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Oh, my God. Maybe because I'll be tired from being up at, like, 6. But, like, when the sun hits at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, I guess it's just a different angle. I don't know what it is. Bro, that should be humming. Yo, that should be humming at 3, 4 o'clock. There it is. Fitz Magic. Fitz Magic will be a yard specialist. Although I did, did see Fitz and the boys getting popped. By problem right in 2K. I, I never thought I'd see my 2K team. Didn't pick me up. Didn't have the leader out there. Just getting popped in 2K. I don't know. I mean, you guys can check out Problem Stream. I'm sure he's going to play 2K again in the future. But Fitz, Fancy, Wesley, Kwani, and who the, f- who the hell was the third? Oh, my God. Why am I drawing a blank? Oh, Drenny. Of course, Drenny. Drenny, they got popped for hundreds of dollars. On 2K, they really just did not have the leader. They did not have somebody to, to reel in Wesley, and they got popped. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, Techmo, my guy with the tier one, so they got popped. Yes, they needed a leader. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with George Rob. But, but then I, I said this too, as far as working outside and being in the south. I assume you just get used to where you're living, you know, and, and like your environment and everything like that. 
you know, uh, they got path by problem, really. And, and the worst thing about them, they didn't make problem beat them. They let problem go out there. Problem literally, he he was me in war zone, bro. He he really was, bro. Just running around. But they got pop. They got pop five hundred game, bro. Let's talk about this yard stuff. Because the biggest news, Danny, it was bad, bro. That's just, It's just rough. It's just rough that they went out like that. Uh, my ex team that, that cut me. I don't know if they cut me. They didn't hit me up. They know I got the game. They know I have thumbs. It's cool. Um, But this yard shit is probably... I And I was thinking we were talking about this... Uh, 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 about the yard shit. So I got poison out of my eye. But is there any way this six on six could be whack, chat? Is there any way this shit could be whack? And I'm thinking to myself, let's think about that. Is there any way the six v six could be corny? Let's talk about how could it possibly be corny? Like that's all like how could they how could they mess this up? I don't know how it's I don't know how like the format of it's going to be. You know, I don't really know what it's going to... like. Is it going to be just a, a quarterback with five receivers and say, go? You know, is there going to be plays in it? You know, is there going to be like a reverse? Are you going to have to line up in the same spot every time? Are you literally the quarterback with the five eligible receivers? What's it going to be? With see now you said now Peace Lander says to me with randoms it's gonna be corny. I think like do you ever watch like I, I watch obviously Apex and Call of Duty, man. When the best players drop into like a solo queue by themselves, that's some of the most entertaining streaming that I see. And they just carry everybody by themselves. Now I don't think I doubt that's possible in Madden, but I think somebody dropping into a solo queue six on six yard game would be funny to watch. Yeah, I don't know how my man Kel's still gifting, but see, like, how it's gonna be on next gen only? That'd be cool. I mean, I guess that I guess it'd be cool for me because I'm definitely gonna have next gen instantly. But I don't know. But what I don't even remember what NFL Street was like. The Street had plays, right? But we never had Street where every user, everybody was a user. You know what I'm saying? Street was not better than Madden. If we're going to say dumb shit, I'm not going to have the show just not going to go on. If we're just going to say Street was better than Madden. You sound like the guys, Madden 05 was way better than Madden 20. It has more gameplay features. Those guys exist. Those guys exist. PS2 had way better features. Yeah, do you think they're going to let... Yeah, to this day, 2K5 is the best football game ever. Look at the throwing motions. That's the one. Look at the throwing motions. They have every throwing motion down. Madden, 15 years later, still can't get throwing motions. Yeah, just that's what they say, bro. I don't really know. That's what we're talking about, Javi. What could the details be? I mean, are you, do you think you're like... Locked in the running a route or like I, I think five on five like five receivers in a route and six DB is going to be insanely nuts, insanely nuts. Like and do you think the defense is going to be allowed to blitz? What if the defense just rushes three people every time? Do you think the offensive line is going to be in the game just computerized? Like the pass rushing, the pass rushing is computerized. Do you think there's going to be an offensive line and a defensive line? That we have no control over. And maybe the defense can then blitz extra people. That's what I'm saying. Could it be bad? My man joke with the tier one. Just a timer. Okay. That's tough. Now, Ted, I honestly, oh man, it's going to be insane. I don't know. I think Timo, I think I think maybe they have ideas that maybe they won't put in the full game. I really don't know. I don't think six on six is too much. I just I mean Yeah, no linemen in a Mississippi count. 
It can't be 10. That'd be old D. But then again, it's so hard to pass. Six users, yeah. But if the honestly, if the field's big enough and the, and the lurker isn't crazy, you could do it. I don't really know. Five seconds might be bad. I, this is how I feel. I feel like your superstar going to be able to play anything. Because, like, are we going to have to go make our player and say, I want to be quarterback? Because then, like, what if you have a quarterback and you can't play with anybody else? Right? Because, say, me and Skimbo, we got a quarterback. Can we, now we can't play together? What the hell? Now I got a 62-speed wide receiver? I feel like your player should just be able to do everything. Give my player 99 everything and let's go out there. Right? Like, don't give me... I, I can't, like I feel like if, if they handicap your player or make three or four different versions of yourself. You know, I can want my wide receiver version or my quarterback version or anything like that. Not 99, but you know what I mean, Tricky? I don't want to just be stuck in one thing. Especially if you want to be, like, play with a bunch of different people. Also, as we say this, there when mil Yes, Fitz, that's how I feel, bro. Forget a player, just pick it. Even if the yard... Even if you got to pick, like... Joey Chestnut at wide receiver. Or you got to pick <laughs> Ronnie Rocket as the quarterback or some shit, right? Street did have quarterbacks playing defense. I don't know, man. I don't want to have to pick a player that I am, right, Chad? I don't want to have to pick my player. Or pick my specific position and then be stuck on that specific position all the time. Picked from NFL rosters. I don't know. I think that might... Picking from NFL rosters might... Um, might... Um, I don't know. That'd be cool. NFL rosters are nuts to play, bro. See, but I think... I think... The prospect of having your own created player is awesome. Right, Chet? Like, that whole process of a my player is awesome. But then it, it comes back, think about 2K. Like, if I made a lockdown, I couldn't just go bust somebody's ass on the court, right? An offensive and defensive player, I, I feel like... But then I feel like it's tough. I think you need... Honestly, I think I think you need three people, right? I think you need a defensive player, a, a wide receiver, and then a quarterback, right? I'm Sir Charles. Well, here's these dickheads with the fucking example. Oh, you can play point guard with a lockdown. You can, you can. Oh, duh. Yes, you can do that, dubby. Fucking idiots, bro. Just get, get, bro, get out of here, man. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. Just, I hate all you plebes, bro. Clearly made an example. Clearly made an example. Well, actually, you can do that with a lockdown. Well, actually, whole bunch of plebes, bro. Whole bunch of them, man. But we'll see. Like I said, I don't think it's a way it's going to be corny. Because let's be real. Squads now is as ass as, as ass as ass can be, right? It is as bad as it can be. Literally just go on there and play defense. As a matter of fact, you can you can score with a lockdown. Duh. No, it's okay. Uh, my team don't respect me. I'm, I'm cool with 2K. The one thing that's going to be cool about Madden. You know what? I'm tired of sitting in the fucking corner in 2K. I, whew, I'm tired of getting carried in Call of Duty. I'm tired of being the last pick. All right? Now we got Madden team up, you cocksuckers. So if anybody wants to come get carried, come over here. I'll have the offense and defense strategized. We'll have practice every Wednesday night. You know what I'm saying? Everything's going to be tough. Them, you're right. EA is going to charge 100 bucks to upgrade your guy to 85. You know what that means? I'm going to have seven guys at 85, and all you broke fuckers are going to have 76s. I can't wait. I can't. Matter of fact, the more pay to play they put in the game, the better. I am Mr. Pay to Play. That's me. Yes, I want to pay. Give me all these elites for 100. Yes, yes, that's me. That's me. Yes, yes. Seven different accounts, seven different 85s. Please don't ever come in. Uh, pay to play. Yes. Yes. 
Sign me up for all the pay to play. Grown ass man. Playing video games. Yes, I will pay to play. Shit, I was paying to play but when it was my last to pay to play. Oh, I got $100 left over for the month. Take this, Mutt, Mutt 12 or Mutt 13. Take this. I was counting my money. <laughs> like, what? Smartest thing I ever did was buy Mutt cards instead of Jordans, bro. I'm not playing 2K, no. I'm not playing 2K. And we're not just going to cut Wesley. No, FSU, this is a passionate, this is a passionate program. All right, FSU, this is a passionate program. If it's not built on passion, what's it built on, bro? Real men would rather play against, exactly, play against a computer for 10,000 hours. No money spent. <laughs> bro, you spent 10,000 hours. If you got paid $10 an hour, that's 100 Gs. Solos are going to be harder this year. <laughs> Can't wait to play solos. Pay to play is the best thing ever. Pay to play is the best thing ever. Bro, it's 2020, man. You guys need to see where, where video games are, bro. You need to see where video games are. It's 2020. You know, if you're a casual video game person, I mean, God bless your heart. Your, your, your time is done. I'm gonna be real. Your time is done. Your casual game, seriously, casual gaming, bro, it's the kiddie pool, seriously. Yo, video games are so far away from casual shit right now, like, you are lost. There's always a way, but God, but God bless, it's like, casual gaming is dead, seriously. The economy is so bad right now. Hey man, yes, I'm P. I'm P. I. I. I Eddie. Eddie's kind of. Eddie. Eddie kind of went off lately. I'm just being real. Like, casual gaming is dead. It's dead. Like, if the fact that you want to get on a game and, and compete with people that that put their life into it, like, we're, no, dude. No, seriously, casual gaming is dead. You know what casual gaming is? Hopping on, playing regs, playing Madden, playing ranked leaderboard on regs. That's casual gaming, bro. It's not fun. Madden is not fun, dude. It's not. It's not fun. I don't even know when it became like... Oh, that's a good question. How does the game end? When we played football, it used to be like seven, and every touchdown was one point, right? Every touchdown was one point, right? That's how we used to play. One point, first to seven, all that shit, right? That's how I, I it's not, nobody in the street says, oh, six points, let's get our extra point. <laughs> touchdown score is seven, no. Bro, with completions for a first down. The little cocksuckers used to run a little quick screen. Tell me y'all ain't run a little screen to get your completion. Snap, throw. Oh, first down. But then when they need that, that fourth and one completion, they need one completion, You got everybody presses up. They want to run that little quick screen. <laughs> that little quick. No, y'all don't have to run that little quick screen. Yo, get a catch. Get the ball. All right, first down. It just honestly depends on how big the field is. Shit like that, really. Pay to play makes com competition go down 100%. That's a lie. You know what You know what pay to play does? It, it weeds out the casuals. That's what it does. Like, if you're not committed to this shit, go kick rocks. Seriously. And what's crazy about it is, bro, like I said, there's ways to do it. Bro, you can... I, I never want to hear shit about pay to, I don't want to hear... The words pay to play are fucking bot. This is from bots. It's from the heart and the pit of the belly of the bot. Pay to play is from the belly of the bot. And keep that shit out here, man. Some people aren't that wealthy. 
Bro, then go get a better fucking job or do something other than compete in Madden. Seriously, I'm sorry, bro. I'm done. I'm just done but just making excuses for all you guys. Dead ass. It doesn't cost a million dollars to play Madden. It doesn't. It dead ass doesn't. The belly of the bot. The belly of the bot. That's where it comes from. 50 bucks a week. Yo, you put 50 bucks a week on your team and actually play the game? <laughs> Seriously. That, it's the belly of the bot, bro. I'm telling you. It's the belly of the bot. No major A sport is like that. You're right. You're right. Oh, you're right. The Call of Duty League, right? We play Call of Duty all day. Call, how much time do you think the Call of Duty League guys play? Seriously. How much time do you think they play? You think they show up for three hours a week? You know, uh, uh, I think they're pretty fucking committed to the game, right? And they always have been their whole life. T you know what I'm saying? Seriously. It is their job. And if you make Madden your job, right? You don't got to pay that much, right? Okay. And you can just come out. With, yo, you don't have to spend shit on Madden. You guys just aren't good enough to win. Sorry, you don't. My buddy CC, right? My buddy CC. Good player. CC could probably mop 75, 80% of the chat. CC mops easily. He's got no money spent. Go check out CC. Go check his no money spent team without spending shit. Now, you mean as a grown man that wants to compete, you can't spend $20 a week on your team? Seriously. No major eSport is like that. Shut the fuck up. It's not. It's either pay to play or play or grind. Seriously. Uh, Jehovah, a lot of people prioritize. That's not true. It's hard enough to come up with a scheme and lab, but not to have to understand X Factors chemistry. By Daryl, this is all part of man, bro. You're just not that. It, Daryl, bro, you, you're the belly of the bot, bro. I'm gonna be honest. You're the belly of the bot. You are the bot. I'm gonna be honest. It. You got to come up with a scheme. Yes, bro. That's part of being a pro man player. Seriously. At some point, you got to realize you don't have the cahoots. It's not for you, partner. That's all. If you want to get better, bro, you got to grind. You got you to gotta like, you know what I'm saying? Seriously. Like, bro, like, it's not for you. At some point, you got to say, at some point, you got to say, damn. Those guys that play Madden for a living, they're pretty committed, bro. They're pretty good. You know, they're not me. But let's talk about race with my man, Daryl, because we're going to roll. We're going to just kick this right into the prize pool. Um, Correct labbing, scheming, grinding is what makes man great. I agree, Daryl. But Mutt makes it eat Mutt takes it to another level. Competitive man. Now that's one thing that makes bro, competitive uh, yo, I seen Alright, I'm a, I, I seen ghost I seen ghost tweeting. I hope my man Ghost is in here, bro. I, I seen I said Ghost, what? Ghost said they use us to promote. What, bro? How did they use Ghost Madden to promote Madden? Like, why? Are you kidding me? Who the fuck is that guy? Well, anyway, let's get to the ratings. Let's talk about ratings. Ratings don't matter. This is what ratings are. See, this is what ratings are. I, I will tell you guys what ratings are right now. They are, is my team better than yours? That's it. Did, did, did my team get enough good players? Did my favorite player get a rating? That's all it is. It's pretty much EA's ranking of the players. Seriously, that's all it is. And that's why we go watch it. 
That's why we go watch it, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Abilities are cool. Um, there and, and people say, I see a lot of people, oh, nobody plays Rays. Well, a lot of people play Rays if there's a tournament on it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people play Rays when there's a tournament on it. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on what the tournament is. And, and honestly, let's 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 also not forget how many people play Madden that don't play Mutt. Seriously. So ratings are kind of a big deal. I mean, for us hardcore guys that just play or that will play Mutt and grind Mutt, it's really not as big a deal. But at the end of the day, there are a lot of people that play Madden uh, that don't don't play Mutt. You know, they just play Regs. Now, what are the biggest ratings you guys saw? Um, to me, I, I don't really stress over them, honestly. Yeah, ratings have a, a ratings do have a big deal. I did did see Carson once as 84, just like Dak Prescott. I'm be real. Carson needs that 85. Dak needs that 84. I'll be honest. That's the only thing I saw. They said Aaron Rodgers was an 89. I don't know. It doesn't make me that mad, really. You know, Josh Jacobs over Aaron Jones. This is literally 49er. Two weeks ago, Mostert's top five running back in the game, right? Who's the best running back in the game, Mostert or, or Christian McCaffrey? Literally made a poll with McCaffrey, Saquon, and Mostert and said, who's the best running back in the NFL? Like, Mostert really had a chance. Then, four days later, Earl said, um, we don't need Mostert. He's really just a system running back. He's not that good. It's really Shanahan that makes the plays. Now, Mostert has 95 speed on Madden. Oh, Mostert's the best ever. Dead ass. Those are those are three different comments from Earl in two weeks. Dead ass. Like, how does that make like yo kick rocks, bro? Kick rocks. I think they got a quarterback's pretty good. I mean, as far as ranking, I think the quarterback ranking is pretty solid. Um the I mean, as far as like the overall, the actual number, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really matter. That that's a big deal, you know. But I do think um, the rankings, like the top three, are the top three quarterbacks in the league. I mean, uh, Russell, uh, Patrick, and Lamar. I mean, who who's really arguing those three quarterbacks? You know. No, Earl, you said we can replace him. It doesn't matter. That's literally what you said. It's Shanahan's offense. It's not Mostert. You know, but like I said, uh, it's pretty much all the ratings that I've seen that really matter. Honestly, Brady was a ninety. Is Brady over a Rod right now? Question. Chat. Chat. Talk to me. Chat. Brady or a Rod? Who are you taking? I do think Rogers over Breeze right now. I agree with that user. God, Breeze is just as kind of washed as right. Breeze is going down the same hill as Rogers and a and Brady. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Breeze is not Breeze is not over A-Rod or Brady, honestly. Breeze not over A-Rod. A-Rod over Breeze, dude. Rodgers is going downhill for sure. Bro, if y'all don't think Rodgers is going downhill, y'all I don't know what y'all been watching. Y'all, y'all must have not watched Aaron Rodgers for the last 10 years. Brady should be lower than Jimmy G. All right, I'm done. Breeze was not great, bro. <laughs> Jimmy G is over Brady. I'm I'm done. I'm done. I have no idea, Gronk. Honestly, I don't I don't pay attention to ratings at all at all. When they drop like the when they drop the abilities, that's when that's when it's gonna be lit, honestly. My man right there, Kyler Murray's over all three. Yeah, that's the point of it, Javi. We look at overalls, but 
you know, like I said, with the throw power and stuff like that, I mean, almost means more than the, it always means more than the overall is just a fancy number. Speaking of overall, did we see the chain that EA did the check in? Did you guys see the chain that the, that EA is giving um Patrick Mahomes? Did we see that? Did anybody see that? Did anybody see the chain? That EA is a giveaway. Let me see. Did everybody see the chain? Let me see if it's if is it is it on Madden's Twitter? They really flaunted this shit like they they had something popping. Where is it? The ninety nine club chat. Ooh. Damn, they don't got it for me. Damn. Oh, here we go. Damn, it is on Madden's. The swag. Do you guys see this, man? The 99 chain. The 99 chain. Look at that. Okay. Got the box. Now, I'll be honest. The box is kind of cool. Right, chat? I don't know what the hell I would do with it. But I, I would like the box. The box thing, W. I'll give them that. That shit's pretty cool, right? Box is pretty cool. Right? It opens up, got this nice little cool thing, blah, blah, blah. Then they go to my man, Jason of Beverly Hills. I Google Jason of Beverly Hills. This where like, he, I guess he's a popping jeweler, right? But then they got the 99 chain. Now, I, let's, let's give me an honest assessment of how much this thing costs. I really don't know jewelry. I would assume, I mean, if you're EA and you're giving this to the best players in the world, right? This would be, you know, some 24 karat gold, bunch of diamonds, you know, bunch of different carats of diamonds, right? It's no way this is fake. This is one million, but you don't, you don't give, you, you guys think this is small? Is this small? I would assume this is like the head of a watch. Am I tripping? Am I tripping when I say this is the face of a watch? Is that, is that smaller than I think? You know, I don't, I, it's way more than a thousand dollars, dude. Come on, man. Chat. Can we can we be serious? Five thousand dollars. Fifty k. Yeah. Ten k to twenty five k, something like that. Thirty five k. All right. Let, uh, do you think like for this whole box? I don't even know what this box is. Can we say fifty k? For a total, I don't know if this costs. This might only cost a hundred bucks to make this box, but let's say fifty k. I, I honestly feel like it's, I feel like this is like the head of a, the the face of a watch. Is that that too much? I, honestly, it's not that gaudy. It's not. I guess it's kind of gaudy, but it's kind of nice. I mean, the ninety nine shit is kind of corny. This is how I always feel. This is how I felt about it, right? Like. This is something that if I was an NFL player and I got 99 mad, I would want to hang up like in my basement, right? Like this is in my man cave for the rest of my life. I was once a 99 on Madden. Because you figure Mahomes is probably going to have hella jerseys and footballs, trophies and uh, Lombardi trophies, whatever. He's going to have hella shit in his basement, right? I would give him something that would hang up next to all that stuff. And maybe this chain could. Maybe he'll hang this on like, you know, where, wherever the hell he is and put it in a frame or something. But, uh... Yeah, this shit is kind of corny. I don't know. You know, that's all. But that's what they gave. That is what they gave the, um, the, what is it, four players? Four players that have, four players that have, um, the 99 overall rating. Now, honestly, for me, Michael Thomas is ass. I did see a picture of Michael Thomas with that chain. Was I tripping? Is that what we're talking about? Like, he already had that? Yeah, I don't know how Michael Thomas won. Yeah, Michael Thomas is a broad. You ever heard the term broad or used? That's Michael Thomas, one million percent. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they could give away. But at the end of the day, that shit was kind of corny. That's how I feel. If I got the 99 chain, maybe I'd like it more. 
um but it looked kind of corny to me i don't know if you guys liked that thing or thought it was popping um mike thomas is abroad he can be tough all he wants he's abroad you know but for me um Anyway, so they gave 50k away. So let's say they gave away $200,000. Let's just go ahead and say they gave away a quarter million dollars. Let's talk about this prize pool. Fancy my guy with the tier 1. There he is. The fancy man. Let's talk about this prize pool, right? Okay. This is something I'm passionate about. This is something I feel I've I've asked for more money uh, how many times on this thing? How many times have we talked about money on this podcast? How many times have we talked about um, expanding the prize pool of Madden? I, th- I feel like it's it's been over 25, 30 times in these 89 episodes that we have talked about the prize pool of Madden, right? But this is the problem. This is the problem. This is where in lies the problem when you rely on someone else to tell much how tell them how much money you can make right as a competitive man player you are at the mercy of ea to say this is how much money you're able to win this year right there's we the one thing about madden that makes it hard to be a man player there's only three or four tournaments a year that make any money right there's not a tournament every other weekend for 5K, a tournament every other weekend for 10K. You, you're pretty much locked into the EA tournaments, right? They kind of monopolize the entire uh, the entire tournament market in Madden. 100%, they probably monopolize that. So it's hard to make a career off winning tournaments when there's only three, three or four. Really, there's three. Because if you don't do good in those three, you don't make it to the four. So for a whole year, there's three tournaments. You know, maybe you can't go to one. Boom. Now there's two. And pretty much if you can't go to one, you're pretty much shit out of luck to get to the last one. So essentially, the essentially there, there's not a lot of tournaments. So one, there's not a lot of tournaments. And two, you're literally relying on... On a company to tell you how much money you can make. Now, I saw Ghost tweet. Ghost Madden. Friend of mine. I think Ghost Madden is really good at Madden. I really do. I've always thought Ghost was pretty good. Every time I played him, whether it was a mess around game, a ladder game, a tournament. I've always thought Ghost was pretty good. Like one of the top 20 players in Madden. Right? One. Bruh, he be getting popped. Right? Be getting popped. Right. Another thing. And we had this notion that competitive man promotes uh, mutt. It promotes mutt. Like they use competitive players to promote mutt. And 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 to me, I I feel I still feel like man and players are super replaceable, right? This is this is kind of how working works, right? This is pretty much how work how, how how the whole world works, right? You go to work. You learn a skill. You become valuable to a company, right? And when you become valuable to a company, therein lies the term when you can turn around and say, I want more money. I think the value of man and players is so low that it really doesn't matter what the hell we want. EA could come out tomorrow and say, you know what? The prize pool is 500K this year. All the same 200 assholes are going to play the game the same way. There's not a soul that's going to say, you know what, I'm not playing Madden this year. You know what, I'm not playing in EA tournaments. There's not. So, for me, we literally have no leverage at all to tell them to give us more money. Because if you're EA, why would you give us, why would you say, you know what, the prize pool is $5 million? You know? They don't need any one Madden player. And I realize this. Because, chat, who's the biggest competitive man player in the world? The most popular competitive man player in the world that we all know and watch. Problem is the biggest competitive man player. He's the biggest personality. He's the most recognizable personality in the world. He has not played in a live event in two years. Myself included. We both have not played in an EA live event in two years. Right? Do you guys think it has suffered because problem hasn't played in it, right? And this is why I realized, like, the, sh- the show's still going on, you know? 
And I just feel like, I feel like, the, and one thing, and, it, and I'll tell you this. And we say, why doesn't EA promote players or really build up these man players more, you know, and really get them super popping? Part of the reason, man, they don't ever want a player to be bigger than Madden, you know? And at the same time, when we say this, chat, but the boy played like, bro, let me tell you something. And this year, these three ratings were bad. So if this year's ratings were bad, so why the hell can we turn around and say we want more money? You know, at the end of the day, if if you're a competitive player and you and listen, you just want you're literally at the mercy of somebody telling you how what what you can make. You know? When it's nuts. I, I honestly just I, I just don't feel I, I just don't feel Madden players have the leverage to say we want more money. Of course, of course, yes, I'd love a five million prize pool. No one is, you know how you make someone bigger than Madden? You, 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 first of all, the YouTubers do way more to promote men than competitive players. The YouTuber, when you look at men, when men, when men sits down and say, man, who's more important to, to, to promoting Madden? Is it Ghost Madden? Is it Kiv? Is it Drenny? Are they more important to promote Madden than the people that make videos every single day? Seriously. Like, what's more important? You know? Like, what's more important? It is 1 million percent the people that make videos every day. Because if you're the best Madden player, Skimbo had a run between Madden 17 and Madden 18 was at every live event going to every finals, right? He's the best Madden player at every event, which is impossible. It's literally impossible to think that. I'm going to make every event and make a Final Four run at every event. It's impossible to think that. But even if you do that, Skimbo is on the camera for 7 to 10 games of Madden per year. He's on the camera. You know? And therein lies, how can I maximize those 7 to 10 games, right? You know what I'm saying? How can I maximize those 7 to 10 games and promote it and get the viewership that it's desired? And that's the age up. And it's tough to do. Really. So, so I, I really feel like the competitive players really have no leverage when we go out here and say, we want more money. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like there's zero. Because at the end of the day, here goes the leverage, chat. The leverage is, could the top, could the top 20 most recognizable names literally not play Madden this year? Pretty much go on strike from competitive Madden. Could they do that? And say, you know what, we want more money to play in these tournaments. Would it affect the tournament? And if you say, oh, it wouldn't affect the tournament, then there, there's your answer. They don't have the leverage to ask for any more money. You know? I don't know. I don't know why the ratings are down. I don't know why any of that happens. Uh, I, I honestly, I feel like it would be next man up. That's pretty much how I feel. Uh, this is how I feel, man. I, I I agree. Ratings were down, but Madden 20 probably has the most viewership of any Madden combined, like any Madden ever. This is probably the most viewed Madden from a Twitch and a YouTube standpoint. It is the most viewed. I guarantee there's not a more Madden that has more views than Madden than uh, Madden 20. So as far as like watching Madden 20, people are watching the shit out of Madden 20. Are they not watching competitive? What? Where's the disconnect? Honestly. So people say, oh, the ratings were down. Ratings for Madden 20 are through the roof. They're through the roof. You know? And, and and that's the thing. We do talk about... Listen, no. EA has... Bro, EA is... First of all, they've cut the, the whole budget of... Like I said, 17 and 18, we were at the Super Bowl. We were at the Pro Bowl. We were at locations. We were, It was awesome. And one thing, I am blessed to be able to actually be good in those Maddens and have those experiences. Because right now, it sucks. It sucks. Like as much like 
I, be honest with the MCS, the last two years, has, and this shit's going downhill. Like, it really, compared to eight to 17 and 18, even 18, well, ultimately, even though the pre-recorded was the worst thing ever, but the whole format of 18 actually going places and having events was way better than it is now. So they've cut the actual budget in, in half. They have, bro, X amount of sponsors. Honestly, they're making probably more money from competitive Madden than ever. I really don't know. Um... I really don't know exactly um, all the details, how much money they make and everything like that, but I know that it's not half the experience it was in 17 and 18. It's not half the experience. Not that I've had the experience, but I just, you know, from going to the events and watching them as a cheerleader, um, it's not half. It's not half. The, it's not a quarter of the experience 17 and 18 were. So they definitely, uh, you know, I will always ask for more money. What the Oliver Twist do? This is this is how I see this is how I see competitive man players sick, fix the money price. I Oliver Twist, please sir, may I have some more? That's how please sir, may I have some more? May I have some more? You know, yeah, they pay too many people. They do. One million percent. And us need to stop fucking saying we made a live event. We made the top 160, 128 people of a tournament. That needs to fucking stop. If you never a winning a club is maybe a live event. I'll give winning a club is a live event. I'm tired of that shit. I got Earl coming in my chest. I made five live events. No motherfucker, you were 186th in a tournament. You know what I'm saying? Settle down, bucko. 168th in the tournament. I made a lot. No, that was no live event, dude. No, we got to dead that. That and that starts here. That starts here. Nah, we're not showing no footage of Earl, bro. We can't make fun of Earl no more. He's off limits of making fun of, bro. Some people you can't make fun of, honestly. Nah. Nah. Not today. You got you, you never you ever learn those kids in school you can't like really like bully, you can't really make fun of because they take it too personal. And you know. Especially kids, bro. Kids start crying and shit. They fuck up the vibes. They tell the teacher and stuff. Yeah, like you can't mess with Yeah, Hunter I made a love event. Nah, bro. Nah. Roy streamers should host their own small tournament. I agree. I'm trying my best to make events. I, I mean, and, and my biggest thing, this is what I said. Bro, if I had the money, just give me a million dollars to give out. My events would be popping. But like I said, at the end of the day, the biggest thing we can ask for is the payout. Stop paying. Now, this is how I feel. Paying all these people makes it kind of cool for the, you know, the, the 138th person to play in the tournament. Makes it cool. Right? It makes it cool. Like, now little Timmy can play in the tournament, get a little check from EA. It's pretty cool. So, are we going to just get rid of that? Like, because I think the more people you have competing, ultimately, the better the sport is. But I think if he got $500, he'd just be as happy as he was getting $200. You know, I think uh, the little Timmy checks can be cut in a quarter. I think it's good that little Timmy makes a little bit of money. But um, I think it could be cut into a quarter of that. You know? You think how much? That's what they say. They make money from mutt. They make money from this. They make money from that. Man. I let's let's keep let's keep it like this. Like, bro. If they if they got rid if they got rid of the MCS, would they be hurting? Seriously, if Madden, if if EA's if EA's executive came in tomorrow and said, you know what, I don't want to do MCS anymore, do you think Madden would be hurting? Seriously, do you think they would stop making money? Yes, boys. I I, I think I think they say, yo, you can make hot to, hot, top top one twenty eight and you make fifteen hundred. I think it definitely I think it definitely makes people say, okay, I got a chance. I don't know. They missed that sponsorship money. They could spot yo. Have y'all noticed that solos are now? I only noticed because I go try to get my YouTube uh, <laughs> thumbnails from the solos. Solos are in Pizza Hut Stadium. So instead of marketing, yo, we're gonna put your Pizza Hut Stadium in MCS. I'm gonna put your Pizza Hut Stadium on every Mutt game. Every Mutt game, you're gonna get your Pizza Hut logo. You know, seriously. They're sponsored. They could sell. Instead of selling, honestly, instead of selling the M, <coughs> excuse me. Instead of say, selling the MCS viewership, they could sell every YouTuber viewership in the world and say, "Listen, you know they're making videos 
on Madden. Look, look, MMG is making videos on Madden, and he's getting X amount of views. Throne is making videos on Madden. Listen, if you put your logo on this, on the field, you'll get all these views for your, your company. You know, I honestly feel like Madden could flip their numbers and viewership to a sponsor and say, boom, you can indirectly be on Throne's video, but only pay us. I honestly feel like they could do that. You know? I don't think MCS players have no leverage. None whatsoever. None. Literally none. You're right, Earl. If you didn't show up, bro, if you didn't show up to the Niners Club Series, nobody would watch. Nobody would watch. Bro, I learned it. I, I learned it, man. When problem didn't make when problem didn't make anything. You know what I'm saying? I, I honestly feel like that's that's pretty much the idea. If 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 the CEO of EA said, you know what, I don't want to do competitive Madden, I want to save my million and I want to send chains to every player in NFL to promote Madden a little bit more, you know, I want to do that instead. I don't think it would hurt them at all to get rid of MCS. In fact, there's probably people arguing in the building, please keep the MCS. Matt Marku probably argues out there, no, we can do MCS. We can, we, you know what I'm saying? Keep this, keep this. It's good, it's good, it's good. Because I guarantee there's people in that building that say the MCS is a fucking waste of money. And honestly, probably more people than less tell, tell the CEO all the time, look at this MCS shit. It's probably a waste of money. And we're all sitting here. Give us more money. Seriously. MCS should be for average Joes. I agree, bro. No, so when you really think about it, like, and I, I feel like, bro, listen, and I feel like if you're smart, I mean, listen, when, when you're a competitive player, you're at the mercy of EA as somebody that, you know, essentially tells you what you can make. Me, I'm like, no, you're, you're not going to tell me what I can make. I'm going to do my best to maximize the platform that you have given me by throwing these tournaments. Are you know what I'm saying? No, Earl's Ar Ar going to say the dumbest shit ever. No, he's not going to go from, from crying about getting made fun of to being on the mic. That's not happening. That's not how it works, bro. No. It's not, it's not, it's not happening. That's dead. That's dead. You're not going to cry and say the Madden community is fake and blah, blah, blah. Now I want to be on the mic. No, he can type it. He can type it. If he wants to talk to bad, he can type it. Nope. It's not happening. I will shut the show off right now. It's literally not happening. It's not happening. You're not wasting, you're not wasting 20 minutes of my life. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's literally not happening. Literally will clear the whole chat. It's not happening. <laughs> Earl, do got second chances. We're that everything squash, but they don't <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Look. Now I know no. No, there is no time limit. No, if he wants that bad, he listen. If he want, he could type one sentence that makes me say, "Hmm, I want to talk about that." Hmm. How many gifted for on the mic? A hundred. A hundred. If you guys put a hundred gifted together, well, Earl can get on the mic. A hundred. I've been happier in my life since I stopped copping mad. Joker, game over. I right, thank you for joining the chat, bro. I'm glad you're there. It is. Yo, the plebes are really about to be gone. I want to be competitive, but I hate mutt. No, that's your first problem. That's like saying... <laughs> that's like saying... <laughs> no, nah, never mind. I can't go that far. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. GG's. I said 100. I said 100. Bro, like I said, I need, I need a one sentence for me to be like, hmm, that's intriguing. You know what I'm saying? K Dizzle, what's up, man? Yeah. It's like, yo. I love soccer, but I hate running, so that's why I won't play it. Like, what? 
And, and whatever he types better have good punctuation. I don't got time to read a run on sentence. All right, say no, no more. See, that's what I mean. He ain't got shit to say. He don't really want to talk. That's it. Say no more. My man rail with that yefties. Joe Sis, what's up, man? So, honestly, we all want more money, man. But, listen, you got to, yo, the writing's on the wall, boys. We talk about Man 17, MCS was awesome. Man 18 was good, other than the Ultimate League and, and the pre-recorded shit, right? It was a good, it, it was a good experience. We flew out. I, I went to the Pro Bowl. I went to Minnesota. I went to LA. And Madden 18 was awesome, right? From there, they have just continually drained the the funding out of the entire MCS. So if that doesn't tell you, not that it's on its last leg, but man, they're trying to make this shit not cost them so much the last two years. I don't know what 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 what, what more writing do you want on the wall? You know, and I feel like we'll. We'll never have leverage as players. Because first of all, if we're not willing to not play for a year, then how can we ha- ask for shit? Really? There are other atlas. Frog man, there are other outlets. Honestly, the biggest thing, they just need more tournaments, really. Whether that's uh, EA ones or public ones, or private tournaments, or side, it needs it needs to be more shit, now obviously the Friday Night Football, that's a good plus, because you got a thousand dollars to win every week, that gives a, a pro man player a good chance, you know, um, it needs more stuff like that, the more stuff like that, the more little pots you can dip your hand in from being good at the game, uh, honestly, yeah, that's pretty much what the biggest goal is, because you're not just going to say, oh yeah, let's just, I want to win, you know, 250k for winning first place. That that's not gonna happen another year or two, you know. Does Friday Night Friday have permission from EA? Uh, I would probably say I don't think you need permission for that. Mutthead needs to take over. Now Cody Rockets and Mutthead does have good ideas, and he is really committed to competitive man. He really loves it. So I mean, I don't know if that's something he would ever want to do. I don't know if he'd be good at that because I think. I think that head MCS guys a lot of political things, a lot of like you know meetings and not so much Madden ideas, but just pretty much talking to the to the higher ups at EA and selling them on this and that, and talking to the sponsors selling them on this and that. So, no axe murder, not playing this year. Madden needs to be more like poker. Interesting take. Interesting take. ESPN will need esports and sports. Now, Showtime, you say that, and the Madden, uh, the Madden Bowl was during the quarantine. So, do you think that affected it? Now, I, I honestly feel like the, the the production of the EA event was amazing. I'll be honest. I feel like all their production is as good as it can get. I don't think the production level since the MCF started could get any better, right? Now, when you say Evo, I'm assuming Evo is Evo a like one of those dream hack, one of those convention center things. I don't think that I don't know. So I and honestly, every event I've been to with Madden uh, at one of those, especially DreamHack. DreamHack is the biggest thing. First, it's not dead, but bro, like, what do you think this is? Like, <laughs> what do you think? You can come here and just hop on the show and talk? Like, who the fuck are you? I don't know. I'm not a rating person. I don't know. That's their job, you know? Yes, but a lot of times, especially DreamHack, Madden, they put it in the corner and just the Madden people be it, you know. Honestly, I, the best Madden has ever done for me uh, is the in Madden 17 when it was around football fans. Whether at the Pro Bowl or at the Super Bowl, I feel like that's the best it's ever done. I think it's, it, it's been better at that type of venue than at a... Uh, a video game convention. Because I'll be real, video gamers are fucking nerds. 
the fighting game community, oh my God, nerds. Like we don't, yo, the fighting game community might be bigger nerds than like the League of Legends, guys. Seriously. Seriously. I mean, the fighting game community never, ever played a sport. Never played a sport. Ever. Yo, the fighting game community, yo, you put me in a room with the fighting game community, I'm mopping up at least 10 of them. Mopping up Royal Rumble style. Yo, the fighting game community never went outside. You play Tekken, yo, you never went outside. I'm mopping 10 of those dudes, without a doubt. So those dudes aren't the ones that are going to go watch football, right? They don't even know first down, first and 10. Seriously. So, and, and then, then we go with the, now maybe you can get a first person shooter. Now, the first person shooter, what are we talking? Maybe 10% of them play sports? Seriously, what, what do we think, chat? So, 15%, all right, so maybe you got a chance with the first player, with the shooter player, the FSP. Did anybody say FPS player? FPS player? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you got a chance with it. My man Kyle in the chat, man. There he is, man. Kyle with five months. Thanks, buddy. Counter-Strike? Yeah, Counter-Strike, them dudes can't rumble anyway. They're not, they're not, uh... Damn, Yoda, my guy. Right. Listen, bro, Yoda, let me tell you something. You don't get put in any situation unless you already know you can get through it. Seriously. You feel me? The NFL's not in the no damn... The NFL is more in the fucking Fortnite and things that make money. Honestly. The NFL is... Uh, Schmitty, my guy. The NFL is more... I mean, we not... Kyle, we not yelling, bro. What do you think Robert Kraft is investing? You ever read about Robert Kraft investing in the esports? He's not investing into the MCS, bro. Yeah, I'm playing right now, Chef. I'm searching, bro. Ryan, I said they should cut the bottom head, the bottom tier players to 25% of what they pay them now. No, nah, Yoda, for real, man. Listen, no... <laughs> Nobody had a stroke or nobody died because they had a bad day. You feel me? No matter what happens, bro. As long as you're healthy, you're good. Yeah. I feel like that. The pies are on YouTube, Wood Center. You can check them all out. I'll probably upload this one tomorrow. I have a 24-hour rule on Twitch because this is Twitch content. I am a partner. I cannot upload it until 24 hours pass. So this will be on YouTube tomorrow. You know, I don't know what that clip is. A Madden League. What if they start a Madden League that corresponds with the NFL? That's a CFM. I've always thought that CFMs are hard to follow, that um, that CFMs are, um, at leagues in general, I don't think Madden's really a league thing. Maybe it could be, you know, I, it would have to be done like super locked in. I don't know. Do you guys think that could work like a CFM? I don't know. I think the best way to do a, say you did a CFM. What I would do is probably start it like week 10 of the NFL, kind of coincide with the NFL to get people kind of watching it. So maybe they catch it, you know, in, in you know, the halftime of one of the NFL games, they catch a commercial during the NFL game week 10, right? Week 11, now they're during week two of the CFM. So by the time the CFM is in week 10, there you see the NFL Super Bowl. Then when the Super Bowl dies, Damn, we're in week 12 of this Madden CFM. That's kind of popping. Maybe let me follow along, get into the playoffs, then kind of hook them that way. You know, uh, there's two different ways to do Madden viewership and, like, NFL viewership. Is one, you do it in the middle of the season when the NFL's popping. You know, and, and that's a good idea because everybody's watching NFL, but at the same time, everybody's watching NFL and maybe not necessarily Madden. Boom. Then the genius idea, let's do it when there's no football in the middle of the summer. You know, there's no football as soon as it ends, let's play Madden. But now, 
most people that watch football are kind of already committed to the fact that they're not going to get any football after the season's over. So I think a overlap of during the season and after the season would be great. MCS Regs style. There, there has been a Regs tournament every single, tor- every single uh, MCS pretty much. Well, Madden 18, 19, and 20. So, possible. The day, the day I'm dumb is the day I retire from everything. Gold Rush, but why would they do that? Let me ask you this. Pitch me, chat. You guys are... Pit, why? If I'm EA, right? I'm EA. Dub that EA. Why would I invest $15 million into the MCS? Why? Seriously, why? Because... And here, here's, here's the easy answer. Because you want to be a part of the booming esports business. Right? You want to be a part of the booming esports business. Tell me that. Esports is booming. You want to be a part of it. There is no return on investment for EA. For any, for any, honestly, esports, bro. Overwatch, let me tell you something. I don't know if you guys ever watch Overwatch. Overwatch is one of one of it was one of the biggest esports. These dudes have leagues. And these dudes, I remember Philly when Nerd Street would do tons of Overwatch shit, like these meet parties. So this Overwatch team would come come to Philly and just meet thousands of fans. Like how does this Overwatch team have this many fans, right? Now the shit is dead though. Overwatch had its run, but it's dead now. So all these people that invested in this league. It's just cooked now. You know what I'm saying? And it, it was the biggest esport for like two years there. Either, not the biggest because you always have the, the nerd games. But Overwatch was super popping. You know what I'm saying? But but why would 15 million prize pool bring 50,000 more people? Is there somebody, this is my question, is there somebody out there that, that wasn't playing for 1 million, but now they're going to play for 15 million? Is there somebody that says, oh shit, 15 million, let me try. I I, I don't think there's, there's 50,000 people that do that. I really don't. I, I, I really don't. <laughs> oh, let me try now. You know, I don't know. I think it would make a bigger story. I mean, the biggest thing you can go is that it would make a bigger story for who won. Like, let's be real. The story of joke winning was, man. Listen, what you have to you have to get a story that reaches people that don't be in gaming, right? That's the biggest key. You have to reach people that don't give a shit about gaming. Joke winning, the biggest story to reach people out, he won with a punter at quarterback. That was the biggest story. Like, no matter what, like, in 10 years, we're going to look back at Madden 20 and say, the punter was the quarterback. That's what it's going to be. We look back at Madden 08, spec catch. Madden 09 was curls. Like, that's what you look back. We'll look back at Madden 20 and said, oh, that was 10 cap quarterback. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be te- it's going to be the punter was quarterback, right? So the... The I feel like the only advantage if you put 15 million prize pool, right? And the winner of the Madden Bowl wins a million dollars. The biggest uh, asset that EA would have is that storyline they could promote after the fact. I think that's the biggest asset they would have. You know? This kid, like I said, Kiv wins a million dollars from one Madden game. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the biggest asset they have. I don't think they can go out there and say, let me give them 15 million, boom, because then, you know, more people will play, you know. I think, that's what fits. I think they would try to commit, they would try to compete. Let's be real. 
And all these new people that would co- that would compete for 15 million would get their face blasted off and quit in the first week. I'm being honest. EA is great at marketing. They sure are. Gold Rush, I don't know where you're at on that. Yeah, they would get blasted. They would all get blasted and quit the first week. Oh, ain't no way I'm winning this. They go five and five on the leaderboards or three and eight, and they be like, yeah, I'm out. Too many buttons. I oh, it's pay to play. Uh, oh, you mean I gotta pay a hundred dollars? I'm out. I'm out. Like look at like this. Look at like this. If you're if you're if you're making if you're making a video game, and someone comes to you, let's give them more money and we can make more people play. That's my pitch on my video game. Let's give them more money. Let's pretty much pay them to play our game, right? Is that that's not what you're saying, right? Let's let's offer them more money so hopefully more people play. Hopefully more people play. You can't you can't do that. That that's just not like that dude would get laughed out of the meeting. Seriously, maybe more people will play if we give them more money. That's that would never work, ever work. You know, what they have to do, literally what they have to do is, boom, X, X amount of people played this year, right? Now let's take it, now let's take, and this is what people are, they're a billion dollar company. They're a billion dollar company for a reason. And one of the reasons they're a billion dollar company is because they're not giving out money hoping more people play. That's some shit I would do. That's some shit I'd do. Let me do my tournament. Let me try to put a bigger prize pool out of my pocket to make sure more people play. Seriously. EA's not doing that. T Hills as much as you can, bro. No. I would not test my skills in Warzone. I would never I would never like OD OD lock in on a team game, I think. I don't know if I could. I'd want to fight my team. I'd have to have teammates that, like, think just like me and we'd be on the same page. All the time. I ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm there. But honestly, all, the only thing they could do, right... Is okay. Let's take our data from all the players that played, because this is what I was told. Right when we heard weekend league was a little qualifying mode, we all said that shit's stupid. Right, this dead ass. This is what we heard. Let's start this seriously. We all said weekend league being a qualifying mode is stupid. We said that because one, it's on all pro. It's where all the bots play. You're playing against bums. It's not the same as a leaderboard. Right. We all said that. And you know what I was told is like, listen, this is what literally, eye to eye, EA, they said, listen, because we're allowing weekend league players to play, it shows that our MCS has generated that many more players to play in the MCS. Literally, what we were told was that allowing weekend league to be a qualifying mode will help boost the amount of players that MCS makes play. Now, the MC- because of the MCS, X amount of players played. And now, because of the MCS... You know, this player that's going 25 and 0 spent 2,500 on his team. That money can now be allocated to the MCS profits. So literally, every single person that has played weekend league, which is all 400 people in this chat, have played weekend league, right? So all the money you have spent on a game is now MCS profit, right? So, I mean, how much more money can? How many more times? Can they can they go out there and say, bro, we're gonna get more people to play? How much more people are there to play? Honestly. So literally everybody that's played weekend league technically has played in the MCS. So what they can do now is say, look, okay, we gave up what did they give out? 1.2 million dollars this year or something like that, right? Now let's boost it to 2 million and let's count how many more people we have played this year as opposed to next year. Then a year from now they can take that data, that increase, <coughs> excuse me. And then project it to your $15 million point and see if it would make a difference to have that many players. Really.
you know. There's a lot of kids that would play man if they knew they could make a lot of money. I I, I just, I, I 1 million percent don't believe that. And then, look at this. Y'all the same people that said we don't want to pay the people that make 120. So, we don't want to pay the people that make 128th, but we want more people playing MCS. So, we want to offer them more money, but we don't want to pay the guys that make 128. Yo, I swear to God, Earl, listen. Earl's done. He's typed, He he's literally typed, 15 things in the chat when it could have been one paragraph. You know? It just doesn't make sense. You know? So we just want to do... Let's just pay everybody. You're right. Let's just pay everybody, bro. Let's pay everybody. Without MCS, Madden is a dead game. Are you fucking kidding me? Without you kidding me? Without the MCS, Madden is dead? Bro. <laughs> That's the worst thing ever, man. Bro, honestly, well, I want to tell you the solution. But let me tell you, I... I I don't know. This, the toughest solution, I'll tell you this. An MCS event, hear me on this chat. The biggest solution for MCS, I'll tell you right now. They need the needed invitational format, bro. That's what they need. They need to pick, they need to say, Forget honestly, they need to forget about all the ghost mans in the world. Listen, you know the you know the competitive people they can bring out there. They can bring Skimbo, Problem, Kiv, Journey. I honestly don't even know if and joke. Give me those five people. Who else is really that? Really this and then the rest: MMG, TD Barrett, Throne. Uh, who who the hell else? They put I Mav in the joint. People that people want to watch, right? But outside of, like, MCS dudes, outside of those five people, you know what I'm saying? Who else are they putting in there from, from competitive players? Like, seriously, there's great players at men that really people aren't going to show up and watch. Blocky, they want to put, people are going to show up and watch Blocky? I think Blocky's really good. I think he's amazing. But nobody's fucking tuning in to watch Blocky. Like, let's, let's be real. It's my guy. I love him. But nobody's tuning in and say, when does Blocky play? Seriously. And that's, and honestly, that's 90% of the people from that. Ghost Madden, same thing. I told y'all. I think Ghost Madden's great. I think he's a great Madden player. Bro, nobody's tuning in to watch fucking Ghost. I'm just being honest. That's what I mean. No, that, and, and Dark Avenger, that's their own marketing issue. That's their own marketing issue. Period. No, and you even Pavin. Pavin's a dog, and he's just starting his career in Madden, right? But bro, if you if you get all the YouTubers, put them in the tournament, bro, this shit would pop way more. It would pop so much more. Now this is the problem. Here goes the problem. Do you think you're getting MMG to fly out and play Madden for free? Is Toke gonna now? Somebody's got Toke included, but the the coin sponsorship they're not gonna work with EA. But are you getting Toke to come out and fly play Madden for free? It's not compete. I'm not saying compete. I'm saying go to a fucking tournament. Literally get invited and say you're in the tournament. Just like I did. Like here you go. You're thrown and, and fucking and Maze and, and CC. Listen, just come out here and play. Let's put on an event. Seriously. It would be way better. Yeah, they get paid from coin sponsorships. Yes. But not if they play each other. They're not going to get embarrassed, bro. Yes, obviously, if Kiv plays TD Barrett, TD Barrett would get embarrassed. But everybody would expect that anyway. But people would still watch it. 
and you go from getting what, what like you get, go from getting 10k now you have 50k just off the strength you have them dudes 1 million percent and as much as they pay bro bro listen i'm i make that shit popping listen i'm telling you watch 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 Bro, is it MVP? You see me? It's right here. It's in my eye. It's just bad. Hey, Donald, that's a great point. Man, I go back to whatever they were doing in Man 17. MCS Pro-Am. Definitely the move, bro. Bro, the poison ivy tree got me, bro. Ain't that bad, though. It's a rough share. Dave Grunfeld. Squads would be great if it was a good game. Mode, if it was a good game. Squads now was ass. But I guess I go back to that. Well, let's see what the six on six got for us, really. It would have to be, it had to be really good. You know, the game would have to be uh, more realistic. More realistic. Six on six could pop, though. They could sell to MCS competitors. Yeah. And Chen. But they could do so much more shit. But the, listen, the more power they give the MCS players, the more, they, 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 the more leverage they have. And right now, I feel like MCS players don't have any leverage at all. Yo, ima seriously, imagine. All right, we talk about Qua Quavo. Who else was in DJ Khaled, right? Bro, if they took that money, right? How much y'all think they paid DJ Khaled? It's dead ass. Gotta be at least 100 G's. Nah, I don't know. Maybe 50 G's. Seriously. Little Yachty. What, what they pay them? So you mean they couldn't they couldn't pay MMG that shit? All right, Kib. Here go here goes the ultimate question, Kib. Will you sit out a whole year of playing competitive Madden? I don't think y'all have no med. Like I said, problem didn't make the events. Them Jones still went on. If you if you're not gonna say it's like let's sit out, then then you don't have, then that's it. There's really not that much leverage. If you think I know that ass. If 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 you think sitting out a year of Madden. Then I mean, then I agree. Then then show me you feel like you have leverage, bro. My man Rig believe my guy with the tier one. That's my point, kid. But you know what I mean. That's what I just said earlier before you got here, bro. If twenty people would not play, right? What do you think it would affect it? Like if you took the top, set put it like this: if you took everybody that's ever been at like a top eight of a live event, never played again, like never played a, or took out a whole season, would it affect it that bad? See, Kip thinks it would affect it. I honestly feel like it wouldn't. But honestly, why would why would they care about the competitive side? That then that's what I keep telling y'all. The and this is the answer. They want you want to get a part of the esports, the esports, the popping esports environment that we're in, right? Esports is booming. So EA wants to take their game and get a popping aspect of it. But ultimately they need I I, I don't think the format is terrible, but they need the perfect format for that. I don't think uh I don't think I don't think it's no pull, but I think it's just not worth it, really. I don't know. I don't know what the viewership is different. I don't know. I really don't, cause it's been weird for me. Cause sometimes, bro, sometimes it should be having like hundred k in that bitch in Twitch, and as most of the time it has like 10, 10 to twenty, right? Jigby, why Matt? What other game does EA have that can be competitive? The sports games and then what they have now, Apex. What's that? Even, don't tell me Star Wars. What's the other EA games? Seriously. Other than sports games, what's the other EA games? Fifty 
FIFA. That's like tenders. That's how I feel. If problem isn't making a difference, then nobody making a difference. Okay, Metro, but what's going to convince those guys to hold out? Why would they hold out? No, no, no. Those guys wouldn't hold out. That's my point. You wouldn't watch if Golden Glover was the number one seed? I don't know. I don't know, it, it, and and this is what happens when you when you rely on someone to tell you this is how much you can make, bro. Madden is popping. I don't know. I, I like seriously. Madden is super popping right now, dude. Kevin would be different, but this is what I'm saying. You would have to do that. It would have. It wouldn't have to just be Madden. It wouldn't have to just be problem, or it wouldn't have to be five people. It would have to literally be 20, 30 people. And it's easy for me to do because I'm making more money without the tournaments. Like, it's, I, bro, I, pfft, I, yeah, I haven't made a tournament in two years. Yeah, good. I, I don't give a shit. But there's people like y'all that, that don't have the other money. You know what I'm saying? It's only tournaments. Would they give it all up? Over facts, bro. You know why the Madden ratings? Well, the Madden ratings are a once a time thing. I actually wrote an article one time at um now I'll tell you. I wrote an article going into Madden 19 about um about the ratings for some Eagles website like the Eagles Insider. So I wrote an article about the ratings. People want to know about the ratings cuz like I told you earlier in this stream it's pretty much just comparing your teams to others. And I wrote an article, and casual football fans like the ratings because it's just like a a list. People love lists. Let's be real. That's pretty much what it, what it is. Probably the payout is the payout is the problem. Now, I don't know. Rock doesn't pay all year. It's a 95 rating. But what I'm playing right now, I'm searching, bro. Yeah, the ratings just a talking a talking pro just like just like I told you, just like a punter at quarterback was a talking point, really. Journey, shut up. Visionaries, funny you asked that. Do you see any profits? The players get paid to be a coach. That's how they get a flat rate to be a coach. That's it. Whether now do you think Kiv Kiv Carr get bought more than than who else than Kratobin Carr? Probably Kiv probably gets more than most people. You know what I'm saying, but he doesn't make any more money. You know. Yeah, Greg Olson actually commentated when I beat Skimbo. He was the man. Who said Mister Dub Dot? Who said that? My bad, I missed your I missed your question. Who said that? You lied. Nobody said that. Streaming is streaming is a skill. Streaming is a talent. Streaming is a job. Some people aren't good at, you know. So I as much as I wanna say, bro, it's y'all fault for not making a Earl, that's their problem, bro. I'm be honest. I'm done. Like seriously, 
if listen, if you if y'all don't know what you're getting into by just being a competitive man player and not doing shit else to make money, I I feel, don't feel bad for a grown man about that. I really don't. Seriously, I really don't. Cause I, I I wasn't good enough to do this shit. I ain't stupid. That's right, Rel. You D. Yeah, and if you rely on Madden, bro, like, honestly, I, God bless you. Or Journey, shut up. I have fucking Journey. Or you can go to Journey, bro. Journey got a whole company that pays his salary. So he can do whatever the hell he wants. They said, Journey, put out a YouTube video. Nah, I don't need to today. Yeah, my eyes, I got a little poison ivy right here. Thanks for telling me, Avenger. I'm, I'm pretty sure that, you know, you can go that way. Making a living at Madden is the worst plan than a pro athlete, music star, or pro gamer. I disagree, RC. I disagree. For, for, first of all, Madden is nothing like being an athlete. Athlete, you have to go to the gym. You have to train every single day. I guess you do for Madden and everything. But one, you have to be physically gifted. The Lord has to bless you with some type of athleticism. Madden, not so much. You know? Bro, they need an invitational tournament with YouTubers. That's what they need to make the MCS pop. Or the worst thing is they need to get a, they need to pay to get a YouTuber to promote it, a YouTuber to a YouTuber to commentate it. You know, as much as bro, as much as Mo and Skimbo are are the best commentators there are, bro, you have to branch out to the YouTube community for the views. You have to. It is the key to the views in Madden. See what was in here? I one million percent. I I would go all in. I, I I would pay the dudes. Honestly, that's what I would do. Yes, YouTube is one million percent the move to help promote. You know, you know, and a lot of the YouTubers. I mean, obviously, my friends, uh, Tolk and Skomo and CC on them, bro. They said, you know, EA isn't supporting us. We're gonna go support coin buying. God bless him. The, the, the YouTubers are... Bro. <laughs> what's crazy is... YouTubers know how to get the view. That's their job is to get viewership. You know? So, if you can't see that and say, Bro, that's my target. Or that's the guys I need on my team. You know? Fuck sending, fuck sending Patrick Mahomes a diamond necklace. Bro. <clears throat> cater to the guys that's getting these 100k views per, per, per video. They should be the guys you're kneeling at the feet of. Help me. Help me make MCS pop. Not sending necklaces to NFL players. Yo, let's do a tournament with Hollywood Brown and such and such. Bro, get the hell out of here. Uh. Vem, that's all I'm saying, bro. They got to be hip to that. But they alienate these guys. Because honestly, the YouTubers get expensive. Because when you're that popping, you're expensive. You are. You're not. You know what I'm saying? All, all that stuff costs money to have those dudes promote and everything like that. You know? I feel like YouTube is always the key for to get mad in viewership, really. MMG fan base is all under 13. Yeah, let me but let me let me news flash you real quick. Do you know what the percentage of, of gaming viewers that are under 13 is? Yeah, they do Tifu. Bro, Tifu is not the key to mutt, bro. 
you got to get the people that already have this huge Madden following. Like the Madden following is out there. But they have alienated these guys so much that they went to coin sellers. Now, the shit out of luck. B Colts, I try every day, bro. These kids are these kids are disgustingly good. B Colts. All right, Frog Man, you're 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 barking up the wrong tree. My man Patriot, what's up, buddy? Tricky, exactly. They're they're not helping themselves, you know. And that's the road they choose. That Kiv, he just was wants to compete, and I mean that's the road they choose. You know what I'm saying? That DJ Khaled, bro. They're fucking idiots. They're fucking idiots, dude. Bro, I, I, like I said, they alienated the YouTubers, killed them, bro. Getting rid of, like, token on them, not being on their side, bro. That, that hurt, bro. How much y'all think they paid Snoop? Yes, FSU, of course. We're not talking to... Oh, my God, bro. It has nothing to do with skill, bro. It has to, it has to do with promotion and marketing. Let me tell you, that's what, that's what YouTubers are great at. Promotion, marketing, uh, maximizing the eyes on their products. That is what YouTubers are great at. And when they already have maximized the eyes on their Madden product, they would help your Madden product exponentially. You know what I'm saying? Like if I hit up MMG, say, like, bro, MMG, I, I, I want my YouTube to start popping. Can we play a game? Can you help me play a game and promote my shit, right? Would that not help me? Seriously, think about what that would do for me. If I said, MMG, what's up, man? Let's play a game. Can we put it on your YouTube? And I put it on my YouTube and you help me. Pro would that not help me? Seriously. And my whole point is that EA should work with them and essentially help them, you know? Why are the NBA franchises rocking with 2K? Just because I think the format is is better, uh, I think I, I don't know. They probably honestly they pitched it better. See, Kiv, that's and that's cool. And at the and when you, when when Kiv makes a stand, I just want to compete. I don't want to do something just for money. Uh, then essentially he gets to the he gets to the. The rock and the hard place that is, I am at the mercy. If I just want to compete, I am whatever EA allows us to make or gives us out in prize pool, that is what I can make, really. Me, myself, I obviously love competing. I love playing the game. I love streaming. I love all this. So for me, I wanted to maximize my my incomes. I want to have multiple incomes and different ways to make a career. All right, Niner, let's do it then. I'm in. All right, you typed three sentences. So you think EA would get a backlash if all the top 20 players... Yeah, how many players would have to sit out? Seriously, how many... How many how many players about to sit out? And who who is the one? Who is the one that's going up to these players like Kiv and saying, Kiv, let's sit out? You're not gonna make any goddamn money this year. You know what I'm saying? Kiv, Kiv, you're gonna have to go work work wherever the hell you wanna work. Now I don't I don't know Kiv if Kiv goes to school. I don't know if he has like a degree or he has any trade or anything. I don't know where Kiv if Kiv would have to go work at the gas station or if he would go be an intern at some law firm. I have no idea. But say Kiv, you're not playing Madden this year. You gotta go work at Walmart. And you got to say it to Kiv and Skimble and all these guys. And all these guys say, you're not allowed to work this year. Or you're not allowed to play this year. How many would say, okay? And who's pitching that to them? Because it's easy for me to pitch that to them because I have a job. I can make more money off Madden than I can winning tournaments. So it's, e yeah, for sure. I'll sit out for sure. Problem, the same thing. Problem, I have no problem stopping. It's about the people that would that don't make any money outside of winning.
Facts, Uncle Trev. Skim will definitely be ducking on the saloon. McNasty, I, I mean, that makes a good point. That's a good point. But uh, I, I, at the end of the day, I mean, Madden doesn't have a creative player mode. Hey, maybe with the six on six, we go down there. I mean, of course, Kev, but all right, you know what I mean. Let's let's do that. Oh, you can. All right, you got it, bro. <laughs> because I don't have a top ten, bro. I'm number one. That's me. Fuck all these dudes. And I, that's what I used to be like. Yo, why doesn't everybody... Not everybody can stream. Not everybody's... Not everybody's... Um, has the personality to stream or had, the wants to stream, like Kiv says. So, it's not for everybody. Honest. Exactly, Joe. That, it's not that easy. I used to think it was that easy. I used to think, man, y'all should stream. But it, it's really... I, I underrate the skill and the... Um, I, I The trade and, and the job that streamers do. I underrate it, honestly. Yeah, streaming is, is different, man. And honestly, it's something that doesn't... YouTube is a bigger grind, though, honestly. Shop number 10 in the hood, G. Let's get it. Yeah, Z300, I got a giveaway going on. This is what you do. What you want to do, I want you to whisper that guy, Tricky16, whisper him, and ask him for code. So if any of you guys need a code for Man 21 whisper Tricky16. Whisper him, he'll hook you up with a code for Man 21. Yeah, whisper him. Has anybody in the chat got their code from Tricky? There you go. He sent a long hair, got one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get that done. No doubt, no doubt, man. Make sure y'all whisper him, bro. Oh, the CEOs and EA make the CEOs and EA make boop. I mean, that's every that's every corporation. The CEOs, all them dudes, Spartan hell yeah, they make hell of money. Colts being good, being good at the game, being good at the game helps, but I think there's other things that uh, streamers have to do really. And honestly, I'm kind. I, I really took a lot of time thinking about how I can make Warzone streams more popping if I'm not good at them, honestly. Get it done, bro. No, but for real, we're always going to want more money, and that's always... That's always going to be something, but how can we make EA want, to, or not, not even want to, but have to give away more money? How can we? You know, and as much as I'll put it like this, as much as Kiv is the, one of the best players in the world, right? His promotion is pretty much tied into EA because he doesn't do any self promotion or you don't see him outside of EA. So his promotion, his ceiling is only as high as EA is going to make it or let it get, really. You know what I'm saying? So essentially, he only has the ceiling that EA gives him and essentially only the power and the influence that EA gives him, you know? Whereas problem is probably the opposite, you know? Kittle didn't score a touchdown in the playoffs? Damn, that's crazy. I, Kip, I think just the people that get paid, if you're the people that get paid in the, the 68 to the, that's got to be cutting a quarter, I guess, really. Yes, De Niro. And, you know, uh, Zach Ertz actually caught a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Do you guys remember that? The game winning touchdown from Zach Ertz in the Super Bowl. Does anybody remember that? Like, big players show out, show out in big play, big games, right? Right, chat? Big players show up in big games. Zach Ertz, game winning touchdown, Super Bowl.
Adept. So how do you promote? How do we? All right. So let's say this. Let's say EA comes out and say, yo, the prize pool is just a flat million. We went down in prize pool. The prize pool is only a million. What do what do they do now? Seriously. Then you have to have some type of strike, right? What what happens? Damn, more than my shit was late tonight, honestly. I ain't started till like ten. Yeah, that's the order. Ertz Kittle, bro. Niner, if EA promoted Kiv, but that's but 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 then Kiv yeah, this is my point. What does Kiv do to help his marketing? What does Kiv do to help his promotion? You know what I'm saying? Once I get that goes to the point of EA not going <laughs> the more EA does. So say EA EA has the power to turn Kiv to 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 you know what I'm saying? A super superstar. Not that he already is superstar in Madden. But they can make him that much more influential as a person, but they don't. Yes, Kiv. That's, I mean, that's 1 million percent. I mean, the fact, yes. Bro, and if you just look at the years of 17 and 18, the whole format and what we got to do as players, like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, being able to go to the Super Bowl and the Pro Bowl, Go to L.A., Orlando, Minnesota, Houston. Like, I went to all these cities from Madden. Now, that shit's dead. Get rid of Club Series. All right, I'm done. I don't want to get into that. Y'all know how I feel about Club Series, man. But anyway, it's tough. It's tough. I... I If the ratings were bad and everything was bad, um, I don't know what we're doing lights, but that's how what this was the needed podcast episode, what episode eighty nine. Steve Smith, we got ninety next week. Now, as I look forward to the numbers in ninety, there's one number that sticks out. If you guys know that, guess that number in the chat below or in the comments below on YouTube, man. Who was the best 90 ever? 